Captain America. Why is Alrighty, so we are hopping on the Dollywood What's Next coaster. Um, so we recently got to go to Dollywood and spend a day there. And boy, do I wish that we spent more than a day. It was absolutely amazing. Um, and one of those amazing things was taking a ride on the train. So they call it Cinderella. Uh, so we rode Cinderella and uh, we got some great views of Wildwood Grove. Now, what's interesting is there's newer construction going on behind Wildwood Grove, just right behind it. And it almost looks like a whole new area is about to start construction as well. And on top of that whole new area, we noticed orange markers. So it looks like there's orange markers that head on out past this construction site, just behind the camera right now, actually, into a little valley. And the construction markers are very interesting because they're very out and backish. So... Um, immediately we were kind of talking about the construction markers as we saw them and we immediately jumped to the conclusion of a B&M hyper as well. That doesn't mean it's going to be by the way. Um, but it was very like together. So there were always two markers stakes that were kind of side by side and they went in a very kind of like straight yet curved slightly path. Um, and if you look at a lot of B&M hypers, they kind of have that similar layout. I mean, you could ultimately design a B&M hyper to fit whatever plot of land you want it to fit. But for the most part, B&M Hyper Coasters definitely follow that very, like, kind of curved or straight line. Kind of like, you know, Diamondback at King's Island, um, Intimidator at Carowinds, it's like an L almost. And then Behemoth at Wonderland is kind of like just a pure straight line for the most part. Um, but yeah, definitely looks like maybe Dollywood has already made up their mind on what coaster they're getting. And they just had it included in the survey. Um, the markers could also be nothing, but with all the hype going around, we wanted to make a video on it because we did catch it on camera. As you saw at the beginning of the uh, this video, we showed it very quickly, and you'll see it again. And then I have like kind of like a artist drawing, and by artist drawing, I literally mean I took a <laughs> uh, like literally my mouse and drew in an ugly form what we were kind of talking about. But it looks like Wildwood Grove is a multi-year expansion. That's what we've been hearing from multiple people as well. The park is super hyped about it. They're investing a ton of money in it. And, uh, you know, uh, Amber and PR was explaining, you know, the whole area to us. And it looks and sounds phenomenal. Just the fact that you're going to enter through portals to enter into the land. Now, here's that little ravine. And they built like a temporary service road that follows it as well. And you'll notice that there's markers. It's really hard to explain. Hopefully someone else that is watching this video and this is their home park can go check it out. Um, and uh, in more detail, maybe more has happened since then. Again, we were on this trip about almost a month ago now. Um, so a lot could have changed. But here we have it marked on the map kind of like where, again, this is a guess. This isn't our home park. But this is where we think we saw the markers in the video. It is definitely behind Wildwood Grove. So it is in this area. Um, and it looked like it was in a ravine. And this is one of the ravines we saw. So I'm assuming this is it. Um, but nonetheless, super excited for them. Um, there's a huge debate on whether it's going to be a mock hyper or a B&M hyper. So comment down below what you guys think Dollywood could potentially be getting in their future. But the hyper train definitely seems like something that is the most discussed rumor for Dollywood. Now, whether it's going to be 2020, 2021 or 2022, I couldn't begin to speculate um, but considering we're seeing markering, markings and land clearing already, one could assume that we're going to see it in maybe 2020, 2021. Dollywood doesn't necessarily rush these attractions to open with the park, so 2020 is still an option. But um, it looks like we're not seeing too much at the B&M manufacturing plant other than Hershey Park's track. So uh, we could also assume 2021 as well. I mean, they are still doing surveys and the Hypercoaster was still listed on the survey. So um, maybe 2021 is the better fit in the end. Anyways, comment down below what you think is going to be a mock hyper, a B&M hyper, or a completely different model, and what year you think that Dollywood is going to be getting their next coaster. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this really quick update on Dollywood and my thoughts and kind of the construction footage or markings um, that we caught on our little trip a bit ago. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.